After a five-year adoption process, a couple from Utah could have been celebrating a reunification, but instead, because of COVID-19, they're now trapped 9,000 miles apart, and they're just looking for a way to reunite everybody for good. We're trying to keep two households going, you know, 9,000 miles apart, and then COVID-19 comes in place, and you just go, okay, I can't get my family home. You know, I don't know what position my business is going to come out in at this point. You know, we're trying to do everything we can. Tanya Hoops, along with her husband, Mark, five years ago, started the process of adopting two boys from Tanzania. Three years ago, her husband moved to Africa to be with them full time. And late last year, they finalized the adoption. So in December, they became our boys permanently for good. You know, we're both U.S. citizens. Um, and so we would, um, at that time, we went for their Tanzanian passports and we're starting the visa process. And then COVID-19 showed up. Since the couple has been searching for a way to get their two boys home as quick as possible. I've been pounding doors to try to get someone to open a door to allow them to come in. I don't want them there for five more months at this point. I don't even want them there for two more weeks at this point, especially Tanzania is getting ready to close their border completely down. I need to get them out on a flight and get them home. And you know, what happens if my husband, who you know is not young, if he gets it or if my boys get it, the treatment would be so different. Um, you know, there are boys who are U.S. citizens. They're not yet U.S. citizens. And so, you know, what does the State Department do? And Tanya says that her children ask every day when they'll be able to come home. And they ask me, Mama, when are we coming to America? When I left, I you know, go over several times a year. And when I left in December, um, my youngest was like, you promise you're coming right back right? or we're coming to America. So as the situation continues to unfold, they're hoping... There's got to be something we can do to bring a United States citizen and two boys that are 8 and 10, you know, to America in a crisis situation. Senators Lee and Romney's offices, as well as the office of Governor Gary Herbert, have been looking into options to be able to bring them home, hopefully sooner rather than later. In Salt Lake City, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.